What's going on guys, it's Cynical and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts 3 New Zealand information video. Today for you guys, we have something pretty crazy to talk about as Square Enix tonight, out of literally nowhere, decided once again to drop a whole baboon load of brand new images for Kingdom Hearts 3, consisting of some brand new 100 acre wood images, some brand new tangled images, as well as a couple of new images for Maleficent and Pete, as well as some brand new screenshots of the 100 acre wood Keyblade transformations known as the Honey Blasters, as well as the Honey Launcher. I thought today we would go through and look at these images. Now, these are actually not all of the images that Square Enix have released, but I thought I would only include the most interesting ones. Uh, basically, Square Enix did actually drop a few of the different scenes that we already saw within the 100 Acre Wood trailer. But aside from which, let's just dive straight into this. Starting off with the very first 100 Acre Wood image, we have a very nice screenshot right here of Sora having a conversation with Pooh. Again, I can just not stress the fact that, man, uh, the 100 Acre Wood is just looking absolutely gorgeous. I love the cell shading effect that is going on. It's honestly pure eye candy, boys. I mean, look at this. L look at these lines. Look at these black outlines. Oh my god. We have a very kawaii desu esu screenshot right here of Ru riding Lumpy, and they're clearly standing next to a pile of fruit, most likely to do with the fruit mini game that we can participate in within the world. This screenshot right here is of Rabbit whispering something into Sora's ear. I want you to get that godforsaken bear out of this forest as soon as possible. Drag him out of this damn book if you have to. I'm sick of his shit. Next is a scene of the 100 Acre Wood gang. Clearly they're all listening to something that Rabbit has to say. Look how adorable Lumpy looks though. He is looking voluptuous. He is looking absolutely downright Gorgeous. Again, we have another screenshot of the 100 Acre Wood gang clearly looking up into the sky. We can actually notice that there is actually something falling from the sky. I'm not too sure what this is, whether it's pollen, uh, perhaps maybe honey droplets. All right, moving over to the brand new tangled screenshots. This is a really nice one of Sora, Donald, Goofy, as well as Flynn. Flint, what are you what are you doing? What are you pointing at? What, what what's this pose, dude? What what the hell is this pose, man? Next up is a really cool screenshot of Maximus as well as Flint and Rapunzel. This would actually be the very first time we've seen Maximus the horse in Kingdom Hearts 3. It's super impressive uh, to notice just how well Square Enix have been able to replicate the visual style of Tangled within Kingdom Hearts 3 compared to the actual movie in itself. Especially when looking towards Maximus, he looks so damn good. Spot on. Next, we have a very shady image right here of a dark place within the Tangled Forest. We can clearly see that Malusha is up to his no good schemes. Uh, Rapunzel does look extremely worried in this screenshot. So I do kind of feel as if maybe Malusha is trying to perhaps maybe play with Rapunzel's head. He'll try to probably intervene as best he can. Next is a screenshot of Mother Gothel, Sora, Donald, and Goofy. This would be the very first time we're seeing Mother Gothel in Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm honestly surprised that it actually took them this long to reveal her, but as she is, looking absolutely amazing. As we know, Mother Gothel wasn't really too pleased with Rapunzel leaving, as of course she kept Rapunzel hid away in the tower for an extremely long time. So it also makes me think as to whether or not Marluxia will have something to do with Mother Gothel. And the final Tangled screenshot right here is another one of Marluxia looking as devious as ever. We can also see Sora, Donald, and Goofy uh, standing somewhere in a dark place of the Tangled Forest once again, next to a stream. Absolutely love the fact that Malusha is back. Of course, we've known about this for quite some time, but it's so cool to see this pink-haired Falufa back for Kingdom Hearts 3. All right, next are a couple of new screenshots of Maleficent and Pete. The first one right here looks to be that Maleficent and Pete are actually within the Tangled world, uh, just judging by the environment in the background. As we know, Maleficent and Pete are going around to different Disney worlds trying to track down the mysterious black box. The press information towards the Maleficent and Pete screenshots reads, while Sora travels the world, Maleficent and Pete hunt the black box. Pete finds various black boxes throughout the game, but none seem to satisfy Maleficent. Is it possible for anyone to find what they're searching for? Interesting that Pete comes across various different black boxes, but clearly the boxes that Pete is coming across is obviously not the black box that Maleficent is after. The box in which we're sure is the Master of Masters. And the other new image of Maleficent and Pete is of them standing in Twilight Town. So yes, 
they will appear in Twilight Town at some stage as well. Now there were also some brand new gameplay images released as well, showing off the 100 Acre Wood Keyblade transformation. We actually did get to see one of these transformations in action during the 100 Acre Wood trailer, which of course was the Honey Launcher. Now it seems to be that the 100 Acre Wood Keyblade transformation is extremely similar to that of the Shooting Star Keyblade transformation, which as we know transforms into two blasters, and then its final transformation is a bazooka. So with the 100 Acre Wood Keyblade, it seems to be that it actually works the exact same, because as we can see in this screenshot right here, it would appear to be that the first transformation starts off with the Honey Blaster, two guns, very similar to that of the Shooting Stars Keyblade transformation, and then the final one seems to be that it then transforms into the Honey Launcher. Now the way in which it works, sure it's shooting projectiles from the seams, but it sort of looks like it splats honey absolutely everywhere. In this screenshot, I'm guessing that this is most likely one of the final moves or abilities for the Honey Blaster transformation of the Keyblade, because as we can see, it looks like that there are honey pots flying all around Sora, leaving sort of pools of honey all over the place. Who knows what happens when the enemy stands in the pools of honey or are hit by the pots, but I would say it most likely inflicts some pretty hefty damage. The screenshot right here is another Nice HD pick of the Honey Launcher. Uh, looking really, really nice. Pretty wacky, as you guys can see. But it seems to be that it sends out massive, big, fat, juicy, moist, succulent honey projectiles towards the enemies. And again, here's another really nice screenshot of the Honey Launcher as well. I just want to talk about how good Twilight Town is looking, especially when you compare this image of Twilight Town to previous scenes of Twilight Town, especially from the 2015 E3 trailer. Man, Square Enix have really, really polished up this world. All of the buildings now have windows. There's also sort of vegetation details on the buildings as well. On top of that, there's billboards sticking out of the windows for like certain shops, shops that we probably won't be able to go into, but all of these different things are a way of definitely making the worlds feel more alive. We also have other miscellaneous objects in the world space like benches, trash cans, billboards. Square Enix are doing an absolutely phenomenal job of bringing these worlds together. We'll also notice the parkour glow indicator on the right wall right here, which is obviously an indicator telling us that Sora can free run up this wall, which I'm really looking forward to. I'd say that most most of the buildings in Twilight Town will be accessible to actually free run up. And the final image right here is of like a crazy honey splat thing. I, I don't know what's going on here. It looks to be that this might be uh, the result of the final ability for the Honey Launcher Keyblade transformation. But the coolest thing about this screenshot right here is that we're actually seeing the 100 Acre Wood Keyblade. Now it's kind of hard to see it in full due to like the particle effects that are kind of over it, but this has got to be hands down the best looking 100 Acre Wood Keyblade without a doubt. But anyway guys, that is going to wrap up today's news and information video. Was not expecting all of this to just come out of nowhere, but um, without a doubt, it seems to be that Square Enix are now in the full promotion phase for Kingdom Hearts 3. I've been looking forward to this period of time for an extremely long time. In the comment section down below, be sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions. However guys, until next time, I'll catch you later. Peace. Hit him on a page, you'll be coming through stain. Go dead my mouth when you suckers be bluffing. Milk crank, gaming up your bitch though. Catch me in the back, playing Super Nintendo.